What's up, trading friends? Welcome back to yet another video. I'm Sam from Top Trade Team, guys, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing Tupperware, ticket symbol TUP. We're going to be talking about where I see this stock going. This is a stock which is down approximately 40% at the time of recording this video, but I'm here to remind you guys that this is the volatility that we anticipated in our previous, you know, review of TUP, right? Because after all, this is a momentum that short squeeze stock, meaning that it is extremely, extremely volatile. So. We're going to be talking about that in today's video. We're going to be talking about exactly why this stock is not dead yet. And the people that are saying it's dead, that the move is dead, they're not, they don't really understand how short squeeze plays work. Okay. So we're going to be talking about that in today's video. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it and get talking about what's happening over right here. We're going to go, I'm going to close this real quick. Um, we'll go three, two, one. And action. Beautiful. Okay. So here we have this stock, as you guys can see, it peaked at a price of $6 and then it has not dipped all the way below this $3, this $4 level right now, sitting at a close of day at about $3.40, right? It actually bottomed at $3, but it kind of bounced back and regained about, you know, 10 percentage and it's now close of day at $3.40. But however, what we're going to be talking about is where is this stock headed next, right? And look, this was a move which I called literally in my video yesterday, right? Explaining to you guys that the RSI is showing that the stock is extremely, extremely overbought right now. It's sitting at 86 and I would go ahead and I would close some of my position because the stock right now is expensive. According to the RSI, the RSI is extremely, extremely accurate when it comes to stocks that don't have any catalyst. When it came to TUP, TUP had no catalyst and it was just based on momentum and volume. And well, the RSI anticipated this move, right? It showed that it was in the overbought territory. And what happened today? Well, the stock was down approximately 40%, okay? 30, what, what would this be? Yeah, basically 40%, okay? 32 plus seven, that's 39%, basically 40%, okay? But we're gonna be talking about exactly why this is not over yet in the bigger picture. Guys, you need to understand that although this stock is down 40% on the daily, let's go over here. Although the stock is down 40% on the daily, in the previous five days, it's still up 63%. In the previous month, it's still up 347%, okay? So for the people that think that this is a complete, you know, 180 and reversal of the trend, I think you're absolutely wrong, right? I think that you came late to the stock, you don't know what's happening to the stock, and you know, you're just someone who's now only, you know, you don't understand that stock need breathers, right? Stocks need time to cool down. And this is what exactly what I said in my previous video. And this was a comment that caught my eye over here, right? Uh, he said, um, if I watch this video uh, right after it was published, I would not have lost 10 pounds, 10, 10K pounds today. You would get my subscription and a link. Keep it up. Uh, and a like, I think he meant, and a like. Keep it up. And uh, please, more videos on TUP. Thanks, thanks from Germany, right? I, I love seeing that, right? I love seeing that. But with that being said, right? Look, I was talking about the RSI. I was literally talking about the RSI in this video too, which is pretty funny, right? But going back to what I was saying regarding these stocks is that these stocks, guys, are extremely, extremely volatile because you need to understand that they do have a small market cap as well. So a little bit of selling compared to a mega cap stock, a little bit of selling causes the stock to go massively up and massively down, okay? A little bit of buying causes it to go massively up, a little bit of selling causes it to go massively down. Now, this is the type of move that we anticipated previously. That's why I told you guys, look, even when it comes to setting stop losses, right? When it comes to these plays, you need to understand that, okay, how am I going to set a stop loss? Am I going to stick to the regular 5% stop loss, 10% stop loss? No, 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 because this is not your typical trade. This is a stock which can go down 40% today and then be back up 100% tomorrow. I have seen this happen. I've seen this happen over and over again. When we go back to AMC, we saw this exact same move happen, right? AMC over here, guys, right? It went all the way upwards of freaking first. First, it pumped all the way from a dollar to about $12. And then it sold back down. And then from these levels again, from $2, even all the way upwards of $45. We have seen this happen over and over again. HKD, let's go to HKD. Okay, where these stocks sell off, right? They sell off. And then even after the sell off, they still give us a massive pump. Okay, so TUP right now is can easily give us a massive pump because even from a technical standpoint, it did a great job holding this $3 level, right? Which really represented a bottom for the stock, okay? The $3 level right over here, right? So with that being said though, if it goes below $3, guys, I would lose hope and I would say that the stock is easily 
probably coming back down to this $2 level, right? The bottom, so these channels are about $2, okay? So with that being said, right, personally, that's where I see the stock going. If it breaks below $3, I see it going down to $2. But if we manage to hold these levels and consolidates sideways, what we're going to get, guys, is that we're going to get a potentially bigger move bigger than even six dollars okay now what are some things that you need to pay attention to well the first thing that you need to pay attention to is going to be volume right volume is going to be the most important indicator as to where the stock's going now how do we anticipate where volume goes no you don't use the macd no you don't use the volume bars no you don't use that why because these are all lagging indicators okay these are all indicators of volume when volume's already in, okay? Oh, when volume, when when I can already look at the candle and the candle shows there's fucking 10 gazillion uh, volume coming in. Oh, now the MACD wants to cross. Well, no shit, MACD. Volume's going crazy. Like, I could have said that. I could have seen that too, right? But what you want to anticipate is that there's a lot of more nuanced indicators whether or not a stock's going to have that volume that we're looking for or not right and these are all things that i teach in top trader academy so i highly suggest if you're someone who is a trader who is serious about making money in the markets check out top trader team okay because it's the number one spot for all traders guys when it comes to trading there are two phases there is the learning phase and then there's the earning phase in top trader academy our goal is to merge those two together merge the earning phase with the learning phase together Give you guys lessons while you also execute our trade alerts and make money on a daily basis right and this is exactly what we've been doing over here right when we go to um when we go to our discord right you will see that you know when you look at the market win section people have been making a killing day after day right and the list just goes on and on and on and on okay so this is where people post their wins based on alerts right based on our daily alerts which include the option alerts which include you know just our option alerts. you know we've been making an absolute killing right uh, our QQQ, you know, we bought at um, 0 0.85, and then we sold the we sold that 105, which was a massive win for us. And then the rest we cut we cut it off here, right at 0 0.62, which was still a winner, right? But our stop loss hit at 0 0.62. So, right, we've been making a killing day after day, guys. This is what our alerts look like for those that are interested. This is a little bit of an old alert, but um, we'll go MNK, right? So it looks like this. It gives you the ticker. It gives you the market limit order. It gives you my complete exit strategy price and a stop loss. Now. What you'll notice from this trade, right, just going back to what I was saying regarding how to set your stop losses when it comes to these momentum plays, you need bigger stop losses, bro. You need bigger stop losses. Now, how do you do bigger stop losses? Okay, so there's a bunch of shit I need to teach you guys because I already covered them. First things first, what is volume, right? How do we anticipate volume? What are some things that volume is based off of? But before we get to that, let's talk about why a stop loss needs to be wider when it comes to these plays because these plays are extremely volatile. Now, I'm not telling you to go ahead and risk 40% of your portfolio, no. But how you measure, how you manage your risk assessment comes down to your position sizing. Guys, position sizing is one of the most important things when it comes to how you manage your risk, okay? Because 5% loss on $10,000 is the same thing as a 10% 10, 10 loss on a 5,000 position. Now, the same loss is a 20% loss on a 2,500 position. Right now, the same thing is a even more is a 40% loss on a thousand two hundred fifty dollar position. Okay, so you can manage how much of the stop loss, how much stop loss you're willing to play with, how big you're willing to wiggle the play room with the stop loss if you manage your position sizing and lower your position sizing. Okay, because in dollar amounts, 40% of a thousand two hundred fifty bucks, right? What is that? That ends up being the same as, um, you know, that ends up being the same as a hundred bucks, okay? A hundred bucks or something like that, or a or thousand dollars. I think it ends up being a thousand dollars, okay? So with that being said though, right, when you look at the, or 420, I don't know how much, you know what I'm trying to say, right? So you could risk the same amount, right? You could risk the same amount with a 40% stop loss with a thousand two hundred fifty dollars position that you risk with a $10,000 position and a 10% stop loss. Okay, so once again, lower the amount that you trade with when it comes to these stocks, widen your stop loss. That's it. Okay, that's how you trade these stocks because, you know, it, it, I wonder how many people going back to that AMC example, right? They ended up buying over here at a price of, let's say, um, okay, let's go to daily. I don't know why I'm on this chart, right? They, they ended up buying over here at, let's say, I don't know. Uh, let's say like eight dollars okay and then their stop loss triggered over here at, at four dollars and then the stock went to 45 bucks so when it comes to these stocks you need to understand that stop losses are you know 
they could be a double-edged sword, okay? They could be a double-edged sword because these stocks are so, so volatile. Now, going back to what I was talking about regarding the... Also, um, uh, regarding the Discord, guys, check out the Discord. Right now, the next 10 people that join the Discord also get access to it for a 50% discount, okay? It's also first month money-back guarantee. So if you're not finding value from the Discord, just go ahead and, you know, leave and you get your money back, okay? And it's that simple. So check us out, guys. The link is in the comments in the description. Check out Top Trader Academy. I'm telling you, it's the place to be when it comes to becoming a profitable trader, okay? So check that out. Now, going back to what I was saying regarding volume and how to anticipate volume. So volume is actually based off of a couple of indicators, right? So when when you're looking for volume, you need to understand that the way volume works is that your stock, your ticker is fighting for volume every single day, okay? Now, every single day, who is the volume up against? Who is the volume up against? Today, I'll tell you who TUP's uh, volume was up against. Today, it was up against TTO. Okay, TTO went absolutely insane today, guys. You know, I'm going to make another video on this. It was up 80% on the daily, caused it a lot of buying. And look, even when I go on my channel, right, literally yesterday, I was talking about TTO over here, okay? TTO, massive catalyst, this this is next, right? And the short squeeze thing, right? It, and it happened, okay? And it happened. So, with that being said, also subscribe to the channel because we've been on a hot streak right now, guys. I've been I've been killing you on these calls. Even on this MNK call, guys, I made it killing you, okay? In our Discord. So check us out, guys. This is also what the trading lessons look like. Now, um, like out there. So this is the trading lessons, you know, 30 lessons also updated on a weekly basis. And I'm going to keep them coming, okay? So check us out, guys. It's there. Now, going back to what I was saying regarding the volume, right? So you need to understand that the stock is fighting over volume. So what does that mean? That means... That if in the morning you see a company, company, let's say ticker X, XCD or whatever the fuck, cured cancer, be ready for all of market's attention to be on that ticker. When all of market's attention is on a ticker, which is not the ticker that you're trading, that means that there's directly traders getting dragged out of that trade and now they're paying attention to this other trade. Okay? So this is going to be absolutely massive. Now, another indicators are... Is it trending on stock tweets? Is it trending on Yahoo Finance? Is it trending on Twitter, right? Are people paying attention? Do people care? Because guys, Tupperware literally has no reason to be up 360% the past month. It has zero reasons, okay? There's been no catalyst, there's been nothing, okay? So with that being said, be aware of this and um, yeah, man, yeah, just be, but just be mindful. And look, like I said, watch this $3 level. If it breaks below $3, just get out of the stock, okay? Get out of the stock, it's not worth it, the play is done. And um, I wouldn't be shocked if it is done, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked if it is done. But at the same time, I also wouldn't be shocked if it just rips off again, right? Now, personally, I'm not gonna be buying this stock unless it breaks above this five dollar level again, right? And um, yeah, dude, yeah. If it doesn't break about five dollars, then personally, I'm not really paying attention to it, or maybe even six dollars, right? I mean, I maybe six dollars. Honestly, this because the six to eight dollar range is where I would personally take some trades on it. From six to eight dollars, that's solid thirty percent gains for me. I would be happy with that, right? But at the same time, though, you know, I don't know if, I don't know, man, I don't know, right? This is this is hard. This is this this is hard to it's hard to anticipate right now because, like I said, these stocks are so volatile, and as of right now, it's in a place where it's not in a good place, but it's not necessarily in a bad place either, considering it held that three dollars support level. Okay, so with that being said, guys, I hope you guys found value in today's video. As always, eat, sleep, trade, repeat. I look forward to talking to you guys all in the Discord because the Discord also gives you one-on-one -on -one access to me around the clock where you can ask me any questions regarding any trades. Okay, now also another thing, guys, this video is brought to you by our friends at Mumu. You probably already have a trading platform. I get it, but just hear what I have to say, okay? Right now, guys, if you make an account and deposit $1 into Mumu, Mumu gives you guys a free stock. That free stock could be any stock. It could be an $80 stock, it could be a $50 stock, it could be a $100 stock, it could be a $200 stock. We've previously had people win $1,000 stocks, bro, by depositing literally some petty change into their portfolio just to see what stock they get. And they got lucky. You don't believe me? I'll show you, okay? I saved this from um, saved this from last year. It says, congratulations. You got a Tesla stock, 1,007 SGD. What is 1,007 SGD to USD, sir? That is $988. This is Tesla pre-split. She won a Tesla stock pre-split by depositing some petty change. Try out your luck. Try your luck. You're probably not going to win a thousand dollar stock. Honestly, this is the only person that has ever in the previous two years that I've been, you know, partnering up with Mumu has sent me a screenshot like this. Most of the screenshots are honestly like 80 bucks, 60 bucks, 100 bucks, right? But at the end of the day, even that is worth it for the five minutes of work that you're willing to do, right? At least to me personally, it's worth it, right? Because, um, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. Have some trading. Once again, I look forward to talking to you guys in the Discord. With that being said, you're both sound. Talk to you soon.